the national anthems of Nigeria and Syria alone will be played. Please be seated. The special guest of honor his Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, ably represented by the Speaker House of Representatives of Nigeria, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Representative of some Executive Governors here present, Honorable Minister of Defense. Honorable Minister of State for Defense, Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs and Inspector General of Police, other ministers and presidential advisors here present. Honorable members of the National Assembly, 
your lordship spiritual and temporal, your royal highnesses, members of the diplomatic corps, general officers commanding, flag officers commanding, and air officers commanding, corps commanders and commandants of tri-service and other training institutions, senior military and police officers serving and retired, President Defense and Police Officers Wife Association, Nigerian Army Officers Wife Association, Nigerian Navy Officers Wife Association, Nigerian Air Force Officers Wife Association, and Coordinator Nigerian Defense Academy Officers Wife Association. Parents and guardians of the personal cadets, distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lieutenant Colonel J. Abo, the Staff Officer Grade 1 Cadets Brigade, Nigerian Defense Academy, and the Master of Ceremonies for today's very auspicious occasion. You are welcome to the Combined Commissioning Ceremony of the Personal Cadets of 71st Regular Course, Direct Short Service Course 28 Army, and Direct Short Service Course 32 Air Force of the Nigerian Defense Academy. What we shall be witnessing this afternoon is the conferment of commission on the personal cadets of 71st regular course, comprising 454 cadets. Direct short service course 28 Army, 211 cadets. And direct short service course 32 Air Force, 140 cadets. making a total of 805 personnel cadets. It may also interest you to note that there are 98 female cadets amongst the cadets to be commissioned today, comprising 54 Army, 13 Navy, and 31 cadets of the Air Force. This ceremony shall also include the recognition of two officers of 71st Regular Course of the Nigerian Navy and Nigerian Air Force who on completion of four years military and academic training in the Nigerian Defense Academy, later proceeded to Britannia Royal Naval College, Dartmouth, and Royal Air Force College, Cranwell, both in the United Kingdom. The officers were subsequently commissioned as sub lieutenants and pilot officer on 15th August and 4th April 2024, respectively. Similarly, there shall be the presentation of certificates to the Allied cadets Cadet A.A. Owusu, who have spent five years of intensive military and academic training in the Nigerian Defense Academy, will today be commissioned as sub lieutenant in the Sierra Leone Navy, having also backed the bachelor's degree in biological science. The special guest of honor, sir, this indeed is the high point of series of activities, marking the end of five years intensive military and academic training by the regular cadets and six months military training for the direct short service course. Today's occasion will be conducted as follows. First, we shall begin with the conferment of commission on the personnel cadets. Thereafter, the special guest of honor will present parchment of commission to the newly commissioned officers. This will be followed by the administration of oath of allegiance to the newly commissioned officers before rounding up with the presentation of souvenir to the special guest of honor. We shall now begin with the conferment of commission. May I at this juncture invite the Cadets Brigade Commander, Brigadier General O.I. Odige, to smooth the path for the conferment of commission. The Cadets Brigade Commander, sir. The special guest of honor, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the personal cadets of Sound First Regular Course, Direct Short Service Course 28 Army, and 32 Air Force are about to be conferred with a presidential commission into the Nigerian Army, Nigerian Navy, and Nigerian Air Force, respectively. May I now call on the cadets of 71 Regular Course, Direct Short Service Course 28 Army, and 32 Air Force to please rise. May I now request the Commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General J.O. Ochai, to please invite the Special Guest of Honor to confer presidential commissions on the cadets of 71 Regular Course, 
Direct short service cost 28 Army and 32 Air Force. Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, hereby confer on each and every one of you, jointly and separately, a commission to the rank of Second Lieutenant and Lieutenant in the Nigerian Army, Sub-Lieutenant in the Nigerian Navy, Pilot Officer and Flying Officer in the Nigerian Air Force. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. May I request the special guest of honor to please take his seat. Thank you, sir. It is now time for relatives, friends, and well-wishers of the newly commissioned officers to unveil their ranks. She has to be forgiven, sir. The lights are now off, and this will be the last time the personal cadets will be wearing their cadet bars. By the lights, by the time the lights are turned on, there will be brand new officers of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. A minute more. Gentlemen officers, a minute more. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. May I request relative friends and well wishers to please take their seats. Behold, we have brand new officers of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. Relatives, friends, and well-wishers, please take your seats. May the newly commissioned officers please take their seats. Thank you very much. Next on the program is the presentation of Parchment of Commission. The special guest of honor, sir. The stage is now set for the presentation of parchment of commissions to the newly commissioned officers. The special guest of honor will present parchment of commission to only 22 of the newly commissioned officers. Parents and well-wishers, please note that this is not in any order of merit. Other officers will be given the apartment of commissions 
after the event. Thank you. May I now request the Commandant to please invite the special guest of honor to present parchment of commissions to the newly commissioned officers. The Commandant. We shall now begin with Second Lieutenant A.K. Abdukarim. Second Lieutenant A.K. Abdukarim won the Commandant's Leadership Award. This was due to the leadership traits he exhibited as the Academy Cadet Adjutant and later the Academy Senior Under Officer. Second Lieutenant J.I. Achibong. Second Lieutenant J.I. Achibong led by example when it came to road running, that is long distance races and cross country. She was nicknamed the Academy White Horse. She showed her immense prowess as a company senior on the officer during cross country competitions. Second Lieutenant P.C. Njoku. Second Lieutenant G.C. Oyekwiri. Second Lieutenant E.N. Duru. Second Lieutenant E. Enduru won the Commandant's Award of Particular Merit. He was once the battalion senior under officer who steered Dalet Battalion to championship. He was known for his strategy during competitions. Sub Lieutenant S.U. Imam. Sub Lieutenant T.S. Olajide. Sub Lieutenant FN Okoronu. Sub Lieutenant S. Sule. Sub Lieutenant Yu Sani. Sub Lieutenant O Ngwakwe. Pilot Officer G. O. Ojoy. Pilot Officer Z.A. Dalhatu. Pilot Officer M.T. Dawuk. Pilot Officer M.T. Dawuk maintained and dominated in the 10,000 meters and 5,000 meters races during the sport week competitions.
she was always a great it was always a great contest to watch between second lieutenant Ajibong and pilot officer Dawuk. Pilot of Sir N. O. Ayilola. Pilot of Sir N. O. Ayilola was recognized as his fastest sprinter in the Nigerian Defense Academy. And last but not the least, Pilot of Sir S. Usman. Furthermore, as a way of recognition and in line with Nigeria and Sierra Leone bilateral relationship, I will call on Sub Lieutenant A. A. Owusu to march forward for the collection of her certificates on her successful completion of training in the Nigerian Defense Academy. Sub Lieutenant A. A. Owusu, please march forward. Sub Lieutenant A. A. Owusu, as an earlier cadet, held all appointments from second term to fourth term appointments before going to the Nigerian Naval College to complete her training. She was a sprinter in track and field defense and an obstacle guru from Dalet Battalion. May I respectfully request the Sierra Leone Ambassador to Nigeria? represented by the defense attache to please join the special guest of honor and the commandant for a photograph with the allied officer. The defense attache is here alone, please. It's not here. A resounding applause for the special guest of honor. May I respectfully request the special guest of honor to please take his seat. Thank you, sir. The special guest of honor, sir. It could be recalled that two officers completed their officer cadet training at Britannia Royal College, Nava College, Dartmouth and Royal Air Force College Cranwell, both in the United Kingdom. And shall now call on Sub Lieutenant J.M. Raji and Pilot Officer A.A. Absalam to please rise for recognition. Sub Lieutenant J.M. Raji, Pilot Officer A.A. Absalam, please rise. Sub Lieutenant J.M. Raji won the Best International Cadet of the Month Award on several occasions. Physical Training Superior Award, as well as the officer who commanded the passing out parade in Britannia Royal Naval College, Dartmouth. Why pilot of Sir A.A. Absalam won the Best Overseas Cadet Award at the Royal Air Force College, Cranwell, and also commanded a guard during his passing out parade. The Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Coordinator Nigerian Defense Academy Officers Wife Association, some officers of the Nigerian Defense Academy and some of our cadets still undergoing training in the United Kingdom attended the passing out parade of Pilot Officer E.E. E. Absalam. Please a round of applause for the officers. The special guest of honor, sir. Next on today's program is the administration of oath of allegiance to the newly commissioned officers. Please be informed that the Allied Officer Sub Lieutenant A. A. Owusu will not participate in the administration of oath of allegiance as this will be done in our own country. Thank you, sir. 
The oath of allegiance is taken after officers are granted presidential commissions. It signifies loyalty to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and to the country. May I now call on the newly commissioned officers to please rise. Color party, take post. Chaplains and Imam, please take your position. May I once more request the Commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General J. O. Chai, to please invite the special guest of honor to administer the oath of allegiance to the newly commissioned officers, the commandant. Repeat after me, I, I swear by the Almighty God, God that I will bear true and faithful allegiance to the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will loyally serve the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As by law established as an officer. And that I will, as in duty bound, Serve for, the period serve for the period of my engagement, of my engagement. Or, engagement, or engagement, as the case may be, and go wherever ordered by land, sea, or by air, and I will serve and obey lawful commands of the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and of the officers placed over me and I will subject myself to all acts subsidiary legislation and service regulations which now or shall from time to time be enforced and applicable to the arm in which I am to serve during the period of my engagement or engagement as the case may be. So help me God. May I respectfully request the special guest of honor to remain in place for the newly commissioned officers to recite the National Pledge. The National Pledge.
Thank you, sir. May I respectfully request the special guest of honor to please take his seat. Thank you, sir. Chaplains and Imam, take your seats. Color party. May the newly commissioned officers take their seats. Next on the program is the presentation of souvenir to the special guest of honor. May I now invite the Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General J. Ochai, to please present souvenir to the special guest of honor, the Commandant Sir. Yes. May we please give the special guest of honor a round of applause. Thank you, sir. Like the saying goes, everything that has a beginning must have an end. It is also good to remember that there is no true ending, but just a new beginning. To the newly commissioned officers of 71st Regular Course, Direct Short Service Course 28 Army, and Direct Short Service Course 32 Air Force, this must have been a welcome end, for it marks the end of five years and six months of concurrent intensive military training and character molding, leading to the conferment of commission into the Nigerian Army, Nigerian Navy, and the Nigerian Air Force. Similarly, in keeping with an age-old practice, the Nigerian Defense Academy feels obliged to show its appreciation. On this note, may I respectfully request the Deputy Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Air Vice Marshal S.K. Aneke, to give the vote of thanks on behalf of the Academy, the Deputy Commandant, sir. The special guest of honor, sir, the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, GCFR, ably represented by the Speaker of the House of Reps, Right Honorable Tadudin Abbas, PhD. Good afternoon. I am Air Vice Marshal 
Kelvin Aniki, the Deputy Commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy, and the Director of, Director of Study. I have been tasked to make it a very short one, so I'll make it as short as I can. I consider it a privilege and honor to deliver the vote of thanks for the commissioning and peeping ceremony of the members of 71st Regular Course, Direct Short Service Course, 28th Army and 32 Air Force. First, I wish to thank the Almighty God for making it possible for all of us to be gathered here today. And I'd like to tell the guest uh, of honor, sir, that right in front of you, we have the best and finely trained officers who have gone through five years of rigorous training. I can beat my chest to tell you that the officers we have produced for the Federal Republic of Nigeria can stand toe to toe, head to head, with any officer in any part of the world. So please, let's give them a round of applause. So it is with deep sense of humor, I would like to express the deepest and sincere gratitude to Mr. President, the Speaker, and all members of the House of National uh, Assembly for their contributions towards the continuous success of our beloved Academy. Our profound gratitude also goes to the Honorable Minister of Defense, the Minister of State for Defense, Permanent Secretary, MOD, and all members of the Federal Executive Council for all what you've done for us. To the Governor of Kaduna State and the good people of Kaduna State, I wish to say a very big thank you, sir, for the support and partnership you've given us throughout the year. To the Chief of Defense Staff, sir, the service chiefs, I'd like to thank you for your strategic guidance and commitment to the progress of the Academy. Sir, you have all dedicated immense resources towards the development of the Academy and production of excellent military officers. We acknowledge you and thank you for making it possible for this to happen, sir. Our special thanks go to the military formation units, organizations, agencies, and individuals who have provided training, support, and assistance and facilitate our training. Your presence today shows the level of collaborations we have built all over the years. I'd like to say a big thank you to the dedicated military instructors, professors, lecturers, non-academic staff, who with their wealth of knowledge and experience and commitment have given our officer cadets deep-rooted foundation in various fields of study and have stimulated their minds to think more critically and strategically. For this, we owe them a huge debt of appreciation. This vote of thanks will not be complete without acknowledging a special breed of people who, without their support, who will not be able to bring out a production like this. So it's on that note, I want to thank our dear mother and wife and her team, members of the Defense Officers and Police Officers Wives Association. Please, can you stand up for recognition? Please, let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, Ma. It is very important for us to appreciate what they do because they are the ones that keep the ship steady while we navigate difficult jobs we do here. To other invited guests, I want to thank you for adding grace and color to this event. We are all full of gratitude and remain much obliged to you for honoring us. For the duly commissioned officers, I would like to indulge you to take your commission seriously. This is the beginning of your career, and we hope in the next 35 years we will see the future Chief of Drafts, Chief of Defense Staff, and the Service Chiefs all seated here. Let's give them a round of applause. Once more, on behalf of our amiable and inspirational commandant and the entire academic community, I sincerely want to thank our special guest of honor. Our special guest of honor, President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, for making it possible for this event to hold. Once again, as we say a very big thank you to everybody that has made it possible here today, we say congratulations and safe journey as you go back. Thank you very much. Another round of applause for the Deputy Commandant.
the special guest of honor, sir, distinguished invited guest, ladies and gentlemen, this marks the end of the commissioning ceremony. Please kindly note, as the newly commissioned officers and their parents go to celebrate with each other, the special guest of honor, the Minister of Defense and State for Defense, the Chief of Defense Staff and Service Chiefs are most respectfully requested to converge at the Commandant's Office for lunch, while other invited guests are kindly requested to converge at the Cadet's Mess for lunch. When we all rise for the National Anthem, please kindly note the National Anthem of Sierra Leone and Nigeria will be played. May we please remain standing as the color party marches off. Officers and warrant officers in uniform are reminded to please salute.
May we all remain standing as the special guest of honor takes his leave. Thank you, sir.